Hi guys and welcome back to Max Electronics. In today's video we will be doing a couple of things, hopefully fixing something and maybe refurbishing something. I've just recently obtained those Dynarock um, Party Scan, which is the barrel light by ACMA. This one, well I actually got one, which is, was this one, and uh, they said it's in okay condition, it works. Uh, there is a smashed mirror here as you can see. Uh, and then the other one came for free, it was only like 20 US dollars, uh, so it was cheap, and it's DMX controllable as you can see. This one's actually in okay condition, I would replace the grounding bolt, it looks rusted, but this one's okay. And the second one I got was a scanner, pretty much exactly the same, let me grab it, which is in a bad condition. Apparently it doesn't work at all, uh, everything here is corroded and rusted as you can see, so we'll have to fix that. And uh, the guy said, I said, do you know what the symptoms is like for the scanner? And he said uh, he doesn't because when he got it of another lighting guy, the guy gave it to him as a spare parts. So it didn't work already. We're going to plug the other one in. This one we will not plug it in because uh, I was curious enough to pick inside. I didn't open it. I didn't plug it in either of those. But I pulled the lens out. And I don't know if you can see it just to see if the motor spins inside with a color wheel. I'll see if I can show you. Uh, where is the torch? Inside, you can see that motor that spins the gobo slash color wheel. And if you look down there with those color wires, you can just see that the plug is hanging there. And if you try to turn it by hand, which I probably won't be able to right now, it, it's kind of catching on something, which I think this plug, and I see there's another one there. So yeah, so we're not gonna plug it in definitely until we open it up. But the first one, let's plug it in and see if it works. So I'll leave that off the table for now. And I'm going to put it through current limiting just to make sure. So that's it. Let's turn it on. Well, it's booting. I'm going to bypass current limiting. Yep, lights on. Is it sound activated? Or is it automatic program? It doesn't... Oh, uh, maybe it does have a sound. It doesn't look like it has a microphone though. Channel 1 fan... Tilt... And 3... Uh, It says sound on the back there, but I don't think that's the... Oh, it is sound activated. Yeah. So it works, but it's definitely need to be refurbed. Okay, we'll have to replace one of the mirrors as you saw. I'll turn that off. I was hoping that it's got a uh, discharge bulb inside, but it doesn't. It's a halogen 24 volts, 250 watts. So this one will have to refurb it. It looks quite bad. It looks like the lens inside has been pushed all the way in, which doesn't make any sense. Why would it be pushed all the way in? Um, we'll check that out later. Let's go to the one that it needs to be fixed. which is this one. So that's moving freely. It looks like um, wiring and everything is okay here. Yep. Okay, let's uh, remove the screws. I do have another light coming up as well. Well, actually two lights, moving heads. I have no idea how I'm going to fit them on this bench because that barely fits in the frame, as you can see. Oh, well, it actually perfectly fits in the frame, but the other ones, they, you know, they may just fit base in the frame, but they tall, so they'll be touching the camera. So I'll have to probably use a side camera to film it. Uh, all the screws are rusted. Maybe have to replace those. We'll see. Okay, the screws removed. Uh, the only thing I'm really afraid of that, because he said it's a spare parts, and the guy before him said it's a spare parts unit, I'm really afraid that uh, when we'll open it up, it may have board missing or something like that. Let's hope it's not. 
So I'm going to lift all of that off. Okay, so that cable is unplugged from the motor. Okay, that's turning freely. The lamp is missing. Which is okay. We don't have to use the lamp now. Let's plug the motor back in. That seems to be rotating freely. Everything seems to be good. That's the screw I've unscrewed. The board is here. Thank God for that. Everything on the board seems to be all right. LEDs are super rusted, but that's okay. Have to replace them. Yeah, it seems to be okay. All right, let me get everything out of here and we'll check out what's inside. I have pulled it pretty much apart to the bits. So we've got three steppers. Uh, this one is a Y. This is uh, an X and this is the gobo motor. That's a gobo wheel itself, so we can see all the gobos and they got the colors attached to them. Uh, the lens, the focusing lens, the fan, the main board. We've got the transformer that supplies the power for the main board, the IC plug right here. And then we've got switch mod power supply for the lamp. So we've got uh, power in and lamp out. So we're going to test that. I think the, the reason that I didn't get any power because there was no load. So I'll plug the lamp in and we'll see if we can just apply voltage to this and turn it on. What else we've got? We've got the mirror. We've got DMX, which is just a loop. Uh, we've got the mirror itself, which is going to go through ultrasonic cleaner. All the optics are going to go into ultrasonic cleaner now. The only thing I've noticed, I see this mark here right there and there's another one somewhere here i think that's from the other side so they're not gonna clean off that's permanent yeah right there but that's all right i don't think it should affect the um, projection much uh what else we got here all the housing i don't know whether i should repaint it or not maybe i should just sandblast it and repaint it to make it look good i'll see how i go because it's all rusted uh, the other things to replace uh, is uh, what's to replace. So that socket for the remote controller, that's all rusted out and I can't even remove it. So I'll probably snap it off and you can see it's all rusted through here and cracked in there. So I'll just snap it off and um, yeah, clean it off. The uh, microphone is pretty rusted in here as well. Uh, you can't see it on camera, but yeah, it's all rusted away. So I'll replace the microphone. And the LEDs on the main board, as you can see, that red one is probably going to fall off any second because it's, it's yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, the rest looks good. So, yeah, so let's, let's try powering up the lamp. So give me a second, I'll set it all up, and then we'll just plug it directly through the switching, uh, through the limit, current limiting. And if that ignites, we'll give it a full power and see what's happened what happens and I think what happened originally why it was sold as broken the lamp blew up and um, that was that no one's ever replaced it but we'll see so we'll see if the lamp lights up with this just driven directly by 240 then we know the unit's working just fine uh, the other thing if it does and it still doesn't turn on the unit could be the relay but I really doubt that I really doubt that it doesn't look like the relay is bad so let's power it up i have uh, replaced i've got everything ready for lamp testing i've also replaced the old jack that is completely rusted out inside as you can see with the new one and i've replaced the old mic as well with the new one so you can tell the difference actually this one is dodgy and it's screwed up so that's all ready to go i'll put it aside Steppers are fine, they clean, so they can go side as well. Uh, we just need to clean up a few things. So let's power the lamp through the current limiting first. So lamp is right here. And here we go. Nothing so far. 90 watts. All right, let's power without current limiting. Here we go. Yep, the lamp works. As you can see so that's great we know that's working um, then the problem was just missing lamp okay so I'm going to um, 
Clean the board up, replace those two LEDs because they all rusted out, check all the dust and the rest of the stuff, probably put a better fuse in there, I'll put a enclosed one maybe or put a cover on, probably replace a few caps here and there just to ensure that it's all good and I will come back and I'll see what I'll decide with a, whether I should paint some parts or clean them or not. About to, I've already put the things in uh, the glass things in ultrasonic cleaner. Just about to turn it on, so I will be back shortly. I've tried to clean the surface as best as I could. I thought of repainting it uh, using a sandblaster and then repainting, but that would remove all the writings and everything on it. So I decided to keep and use a rust converter, which, as you can see, the white stuff that's rust converted to whatever it was converting to. It's a lot better than having rust itself. I've cleaned all the ports. The optics has been cleaned and reassembled. So here is our optics and uh, the mirror as well. Cleaned and reassembled. Like I said, you can see the dot there just here. So that stays, that's permanent. Um, what else? I've replaced the LED and the caps on here. Caps were okay. There were 1.7 um, resist well, not resistance, voltage loss, 1.7%, so usually 1.5 is when you want to replace them, so I've replaced two good caps. Uh, what else? I bought new screws. They are still in my pocket, actually. Here they are. So, they're long, but that's the only thing that hardware had available, so I'll have to snap them off. What else? Uh, clean the fan, clean the top of it, and I'm about to reassemble it. So let me reassemble it and then we'll plug it in and um, hook it up to DMX and see how good it is. I have assembled the light mostly and I decided to plug it in and make sure everything's working, you know. Uh, and I've discovered that uh, one of the steppers, which is controlling the color wheel, is only just doing a nudge like that. It's not actually spinning or at the beginning for that matter, it doesn't actually home itself. So I'll leave it in the middle position, somewhere around here, which is the middle, and I'll plug it in. And I'm not sure about the pan motor as well. So the thing is, the motors are fine. It's, it's the driver that I think is the dodgy, which is a Yule LN, I believe, 28 or 38G, so it's a SMD version. So let's plug it in. The lamp's disconnected, just so you know, so it's a lot of heat. The lamp works. As you can see, it's just stuck in the same position. This sort of home, so we'll try it again. I've got it to set DMX. I'll set it to um, automatic sound mode. Let's try again. Let's get this out of position completely. Okay, so this did home, but the color wheel is not homing at all. So as you can see, it's just stuck in the same position. Yeah, the, the up and down works definitely. But the color wheel is stuck. So it's definitely the U ULN that is broken. And that means I will have to remove the board and replace the ULN. So let me see if I have them in this format. I'll show you what they look like right here. So it is this ULN right here that is dead. Um, I might as well replace this one just in case. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I will be back. And luckily I do have two new ULNs. This one just fell out of its enclosure so um yeah i will be replacing those two ulns with the new ones this one i believe it works the first one definitely works you saw it going right and left the second one um it works i saw it go full cycle but just to be safe i don't know it's a bit laggy uh so in the third one definitely doesn't work so i'll replace those two i'll have to desolder those molex connectors and remove that chip and yeah so it's going to be um a little while so I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll replace those and we'll come back and tr test it out again. I've replaced the ULN and uh, that's pretty much assembled once again. So the unit has been as you can see cleaned up nicely so everything is a lot better here. You still can see a bit of uh, rust but it's not rust it's been de-rusted or converted. So ports replaced, LEDs are replaced, uh, buttons are nice and fresh so everything is okay here 
and the sides have been cleaned everything's been cleaned and ultrasonically cleaned uh, all the optics so let's plug it in see if it works now I've connected the lamp because I believe uh, this is going to be working now so we'll do this first and then I'll hook up the um, what do you call it DMX and we'll try it through DMX so here we go yep the wheels rotating and it's homing Yep, it's working. It's working fine. All right, let's put the <clears throat> DMX in. All right, it's a bit noisy with the fan, but uh, I've got the scanner working and uh, with the DMX, so there's a pan, works just fine. And um, here is the tilt, and there's a shutter, so I'll uh, turn it on now, and we'll adjust it so you can see it. Okay, I think that's focused enough, uh, and uh, let's go through the gobos. That is so not focused. <laughs> I think that's better anyway. So let's go through the gobos again. So we've got those ones, just the blank one. Uh, all sorts of interesting ones, well, standard ones. And we can make them rotate. And then we can make uh, them pulse. Hold on. Yeah, so that's a strobe one. And of course we can change the speed. So there we go, the light is working. I'm quickly gonna go refurb the barrel one and show you that before we finish tonight's video. This is the second Dyna Rock uh, that is, um, I've cleaned everything, all the optics and enclosure and everything like that. It's exactly the same as the, um, the other light that we just redone, the fixed. Uh, inside, except the only difference is it's got a drum in here instead of the um, mirror pan and tilt. So uh, let's plug it in. I've got the power and DMX interface here. Um, again, this one just needed to be cleaned. It's, it was working, the other one was not. So we'll plug the DMX and the power. All right, so here we go. And let's open the gobo. Lights on. Maybe I'll turn it sideways so you can see the lights. It's going to be out of focus, but it's going to be working anyway. So let's go for medium speed turning. And let's go through gobos. They're exactly the same as the other light. Um, it's out of focus, but yep, they're working. Let's go rotating ones. Here we go, and we can control the pan as well. And the light's working. So that is it for this video. Excuse the noise, the fans are very noisy here. Uh, but that's done. So stick around, I'll turn that off. Stick around for the next video because in the next one we will be uh, fixing a moving head uh, that was. Um, X production company so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to share like and subscribe my name is max if you'd like to support me on patreon the patreon links is just down below or this one here i will see you next time bye